So Yoshi G backs out on Farah. And I just recently got some information regarding Hitman that tells me, bruh, that a lot of what we're seeing in battle rap today is 100% staged, bruh. And a lot of these issues and controversies that come up that we might believe to be real, a lot of this stuff is actually being staged. Let's talk about it. I feel like this could have started somewhere around maybe when Daylight was doing crazy antics, maybe, and, and trolling everybody in the battle rap community. Or maybe it started somewhere where people actually started getting decent amounts of money. You know what I'm saying? So because of that, people just decided to become full-blown actors because they knew when they felt that this was going to be earning them more money. I know some of y'all confused right now what I'm talking about, but bro, for the past few days, for the past couple of days, I've been having this thought about <clears throat> battle rap, right? And we all know how battle rap is becoming the WWF, WWE to where it's built off of and depends on narratives and storylines in order to keep the consumers, the fans, the culture engaged, right? For the past couple of days, I've been having this thought because I recently had and I recently created a blog, right, on Hitman Holla, right? Hitman Holla having completely lashed out on battle rap bloggers you know what i'm saying I, I recently made a blog discussing that topic shortly thereafter right i got hit up right and i received some information regarding hitman holla which actually proved to me that a lot of these guys and a lot of these people in this culture have become full-blown actors to where everything that they do, even if it's a 30 to 45 minute rant going crazy, threatening bloggers and all this stuff, these things are being done for the attention aspect of it, for the controversy aspect of it for for example currently we have yoshi g versus Farrah funeral right that was supposed to go down supposed to go down on a female volume i believe either december 10th 11th or 12th one of those three dates it's a dope idea you know what i'm saying actually salute shout out to smack and beasley for that because that's a fire idea that whole smack female volume situation right that's dope. We recently had Yoshi G back out of a battle that she was supposed to be doing versus Farrah Funeral. In this clip, in this video here, Farrah Funeral is completely going crazy and going off on Yoshi G, making fun of Yoshi G and all this stuff for having backed out the battle. I saw a tweet put up by J2. That continues to help me make sense of the fact that a bunch of these battle rappers are now battle actors. You know what I'm saying? So let me see if I took a screenshot of it real quick. Hold on. Oh, I did. All right. So J2 says, right, and this is regarding Yoshi G and Yoshi G situation, right? He says, I ain't going to hold you. The way Yoshi been playing y'all with her antics, I'm starting to low key admire her. She's figured out how to get a whole culture to move into action every time she speaks. She's like a female daylight. Now, when I read this, I'm not a huge fan of J2, so it's not like I'm seeing this. Oh my God, J2 speaks. Ah, 
Nah, it's just what he wrote that made me really further think, bruh, this is all being done for the purpose of building controversy and more attention around something. People like Hitman, people like Yoshi G are simply doing what they're doing for the attention, for the controversy, for the views, for the fact that more controversy brings more traction. You guys need to think about the fact that, bro, controversy sells. Controversy sells so much, though. Controversy is so effective in pushing out a product or promoting something or bringing attention to something or controversy is so super effective in that way that we are being tricked, bro. We are being, we're, be, we're seeing and looking at situations that are not real. We're being sold situations that are not even real simply because people understand that controversy is going to sell. For example, let's go back to Hitman real quick. Let's go back to Hitman real quick, right? There was some information that I got regarding Hitman that also helped me to fully believe that, bro, we're dealing with battle actors. Not every single one, but we're dealing with a whole lot of battle actors, bro. And people really need to be careful on deciphering what's real and what's not. What's real and what's not. Because that's that's going to be a big issue going forward. Looking at situations that... This, this just goes back to, too, like so many other situations where we've talked about it. And we've talked about the fact that, bro, this was a stage situation. Like, for example, this whole Sue Surf brawl when he was supposed to battle Cortez. Bro, stage situation, bro. Like, there's so many situations, bro, that have been staged already, bro. And it's like, now that things are happening more, the when people are speaking on it more, the, and, and people are letting me know more, like, for example, the Hitman situation, that this is what's happening. Now I'm getting like, yo. So Hitman was trying to get a blogger. Hitman reached out to a blogger and was trying to get a specific blogger, right? This is some, some inside information was trying to get a specific blogger to upload and to post false information about a certain individual. Hitman Holla, reaching out to a, a certain battle rap bloggers to put up and put out information and fake paperwork on somebody. Why? So that in turn, the people that Hitman, right? And the people that are being spoken about will turn around and start to promote Hitman and build controversy around whatever situation Hitman is trying to promote and trying to push. Staged, things being staged, bro. Things being done simply for the purpose of the marketing and the promotion. So for example, Hitman Holla going off on this 30, 45 minute rant, knowing, right? Or at least you would think a Hitman would understand that that's not going to make you look good. You know what I'm saying? That's not really necessarily going to make you look good in the eyes of fit. No, it's just the, the, what's more important is the fact that this is extremely controversial. This is extremely controversial. The more controversial things I say and I do, the more likely more people are going to be to hear and listen to it. That's the idea behind a 45 minute Hitman holla rant. The idea behind Yoshi G claiming that she's going to back out of a battle and then actually might come back two days later and be like, oh, I'm going to do it now. It builds controversy. Now more people, right, are going to be aware of something that happened that's controversial. So more people now are going to be more inclined to look at what's going on, see what's going on, like try and tune in to what's going on because of controversy that's selling whatever it is. This is a scary situation, bro, because not even I was under this impression. Not even I was in, like, I knew that some situations, right, are like forced or some situations are staged, like the Sioux Surf brawl that happened before the Cortez battle, right? Right. And I don't mean staged in the, in the sense that it was a fake, it was a fake situation. I mean, staged in the sense that 
it happened on purpose. It happened on purpose. They initiated it on purpose in order to sabotage the event and have it rescheduled. That's what I mean. Things being staged is scary now because it's like, bro, battle rap, there's a lot of controversy that happens in battle rap. So it's like, we look at a situation now and you can't really determine, you can't really determine whether or not the situation is fake or real. You know what I'm saying? But now we got to think like, yo, this situation that we're looking at right now could be completely 100% fake. This whole Yoshi ducking Farrah funeral could be 100% fake and she was just doing it to see what would happen as far as controversy and as far as this, that, and the fifth. Unless she told like Smack and Beasley and them that she uh, legit, of course, was legit wasn't going to do it. That'd be a different story. But if you're just out here just saying that just randomly that you're not going to do it and blah, 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 to see what the feedback or what the reactions are going to be. And just because you think it's going to be controversial, you know what I'm saying? And, and build a, a new storyline and more, more traction to you. It's crazy because day by day, man, I'm seeing just more and more stuff, man. Just more and more stuff that kind of proves this point. But this just proves the point, again, that this is absolutely becoming a WWE and WWF to the point where there is nothing that we're looking at that happens in that ring that is real. There is nothing that happens in that ring, the WWE or WWE, whichever one you want to use, that is real. Nothing that happens in there is real. Nothing that be happening outside of it, as far as the wrestler is talking smack to, is real. Nothing, nothing, nothing is real. And day by day, I'm starting to get that same feeling about battle rap, bro. The more that I find out that, bro, these types of things are happening, bro. The more that I find out that we're reaching out to a, a, a battle rap blogger, bro, right? And battle rap platforms to, to have them upload fake stories about other people so that then in turn those people can start talking about you and then build controversy and more traction towards your new startup app type of thing bro this is i need to know what y'all think of this man we are dealing with battle actors you already know what it is man it's your boy joe coming at you live and direct from the battle